Good morning everyone and welcome to the service of worship for the first Sunday of this new year 2021. I trust that you all had a very safe and happy Christmas. Tara, Alice and Tom join with me in extending good wishes to uh, the members of our congregations in Mountjoy and Drumliga and those who listen to this service from the wider community and those who listen uh, in the right around the world. Every Sunday we have several hundred people who worship with us online. So wherever you are and whoever you are, may you know the Lord's blessing and presence. I'm conducting this service from my study here at Mount Joy Manse. And as I look out, the field in front of the manse is uh, covered in snow. The hills in the distance are snow-capped. We are indeed in a bleak midwinter on this New Year's Eve when I'm conducting this service. But I trust that as you uh, enjoy this service from the comfort of your home, that you will know the Lord's presence and blessing as we worship our great God together. For our call to worship today, we turn to the Old Testament prophet Nahum, chapter 1 and verse 7. And there we read these words, The Lord is good, a refuge in time of trouble. He cares for those who trust him. We have just celebrated Christmas, where we have been reminded of the Lord's goodness to us in sending his Son to be our Saviour. In the midst of this pandemic, we know that the Lord is a refuge in our time of trouble and that he does indeed care for us. So with that in mind, let us worship our great God as we sing our opening hymn, The Splendour of the King. Let us come to God now in prayer. Let us pray. Our Father God, you have safely brought us to this new year. 
We look back over the past year, a difficult year, a challenging year, but yet you have been faithful to us. And so we thank you. Before we even go into this new year, we look back and we say thank you for all your goodness to us in so many ways. We thank you for your loving and living presence with us day by day. Father God, we thank you for your grace and mercy shown to us through 2020. But as we look back over the past year, we realise that we have sinned against you in so many ways. We have sinned against others in so many ways. We have been fearful. We have failed to trust you. We have failed to love you. Father, we have failed you in so many ways. And so we seek your forgiveness for the sins of the past year. Set us free through Jesus whose birth we have celebrated and whose death sets us free. Father, cleanse our hearts and minds from all that is sinful and renew a new trust in you as we go into this new year. Send your Holy Spirit to help us to live for you every day. We indeed thank you like the prophet Nahum that you indeed are good. We thank you for your goodness to us in sending Jesus to be our Saviour, the one who would die to take away all our sin. And so today we thank you for Jesus. We thank you that you're a refuge in times of trouble and how we need that refuge in these days of pandemic when there's so much fear and uncertainty. And so we come to you and may we know your loving and living presence with us. We thank you that you are indeed a refuge and a help in time of trouble. And we thank you that you care for us, that you love us, you know all about us. And so with that in mind, we put our confidence in you for this new year. And on this first Sunday of 2021, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you that you're a refuge and we thank you that you care for us. And we pray in and through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. We're going to turn now and read uh, Nahum chapter 1. But before we do, just a little bit of uh, background by way of introduction. Nahum was a prophet in Judah, and Judah was surrounded by the great Assyrian uh, superpower. They were the great power of their day, and they struck fear into all the other countries around about them. Uh, they were uh, powerful in their military campaigns. It is estimated that uh, their weaponry uh, occupied 46 acres in Assyria. Uh, they invaded every other country. They were a cruel and barbaric regime. Their king was an evil king. Uh, they murdered people uh, as they invaded countries and everyone lived in fear of the Assyrians. And so Nahum uh, spoke a word of uh, rebuke and also a word of uh, challenge and comfort uh, to these people, that they would repent. So we read Nahum chapter 1. This is God's word. An oracle concerning Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum the Kelishite. The Lord is a jealous and avenging God. The Lord takes vengeance and is filled with wrath. The Lord takes vengeance on his foes and maintains his wrath against his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. The Lord will not leave the guilty unpunished. His way is in the whirlwind and the storm. The clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebukes the sea and it dries up and he makes all the rivers run dry. Basham and Carmel wither and the blossoms of Lebanon fade. The mountains quake before him and the hills melt away. The earth trembles at his presence, the world and all who live in it. Who can withstand his indignation? Who can endure his fierce anger? His wrath is poured out like fire. The rocks are shattered before him. The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust him. But with an overwhelming flood, he will make an end of Nineveh. He will pursue his foes into darkness. And we end there at verse 8, asking God's blessing upon the reading of his holy word. Amen. 
Boys and girls, I want to speak to you for a few moments. And these days when we're on holidays, and I know that you have a few more days off school, which is great, and you're wondering, what day is it? Is it Sunday or is it Monday or is it Friday? And so I'm sure you have a calendar in your home. I have one here uh, that Morris Surplus gave me, and you can see a picture of the, the sheep and the lambs and then all the different uh, months, January, right through. And just to even things up, uh, here's one that I also got from one of the elders in Mountjoy, David Garrett. And you can see uh, here, and in this one, again, there's uh, some lambs there with their uh, mother. And our little Bible verse uh, from Nahum, who lived a long time ago, uh, would say that the Lord is good. And it's good to remember that the Lord is good. We've just celebrated his goodness to us uh, in sending Jesus to be our saviour and friend. And he's a refuge in time of trouble. Just when these little, uh, and when I was looking at these two calendars, uh, this verse came to mind. When these little lambs get into bother, they keep going back to their mother. And their mother would protect them and watch over them and care for them. And the same, I'm sure, on this calendar, just to even things up between Mountjoy and Drumliga. And uh, it's a picture of God who cares for us. And God cares for us just the way uh, the mother would care for these little lambs. And Nahum would tell us that God is good, that he's good to us, that he loves us and that he is a refuge and that we can go to him and we can talk to him in prayer. Uh, he listens to us. Uh, he is loving and he will protect us. He will watch over us. And then he cares for those who trust in him, that God cares for us because he made us and he knows all about us. He knows if we're sad or if he knows if we're sick. He knows uh, if we're disappointed. He knows about the school being closed and when it will reopen. He knows everything and he cares for us. Just the way uh, a sheep would care for the little lambs. And God is described in the Bible as a good shepherd. A good shepherd cares for their sheep and he cares for them and he will look after them and protect them. And our God is good and we can go to him and he cares for us. He cares for us so much that he sent his son into the world, Jesus, and who died to take away all our sins. So we have a great God. Now, I don't know what's going to happen in January, February, March, April, all the way through. I don't know what's going to happen this year. Will it be a year like last year and will we be in lockdown and um, Will we be allowed to go on holidays? Will schools be opened? Will we be able to have birthday parties? I don't know. But God does. And we can trust him. Because Nahum said, The Lord is good, a refuge in time of trouble, and he cares for those who trust him. So let's trust God in this year ahead. He knows everything. And he will take care of us because he is good and he's a refuge. We can go to him and he will help us. So let's do that now as we come to God in prayer. Father, we thank you that you're good to us, that you love us, that you care for us, that we can go to you. And we don't know what will happen this year, but you do. So we trust in you. And we trust in you because you're the great God who loves us so much that sent his son into the world. Amen. Now your Sunday school activity today is for the younger children and it's just a little memory verse from Nahum to colour in and then a diary for the month of January and you can colour that in, maybe make it into a wall hanging, uh, decorate it as best you can and you can maybe put that up in your kitchen or your fridge, your bedroom and every time that you're worried or upset or not feeling well, you can remember Nahum. The Lord is good, a refuge in time of trouble and... Uh, he cares for those who trust him. So let's trust our good God. And we're going to sing now our hymn. And you can join in and sing out loud. Jesus. 
Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. Christ Cornerstone, weak made strong in the Savior's love. Through the storm, He is Lord, Lord of all. When darkness seems to hide His face. turn now to study God's words. Let's just bow in a moment of prayer. Father, we pray now that you would still our hearts, that if we're listening to this service at home, that we would uh, just remove all distractions, maybe put the phones away and just really concentrate now on your word and that behind a human voice, we would hear you speaking into our lives uh, with a message of encouragement and hope, a message of maybe to challenge us uh, on this Sunday, first Sunday of this new year. May your Holy Spirit help us now. Amen. 
Every new year, I would take a verse and it's our verse for the year ahead. And so today, our verse for the year ahead is Nahum chapter 1 and verse 7. And last week, I was listening to a service on uh, the internet and they made reference to this verse. Now, I'm not someone who underlines uh, verses in my Bible, but as I followed along, I turned to Nahum chapter 1, and there in my Bible, uh, I don't know if you can see it, uh, verse 7 up here, but for some reason, um, I had that verse underlined. I, I'm not one for underlining verses, but this is the only verse in my Bible that is underlined. And I've never preached on it before. And it's tucked away in the middle of this strange book, Nahum, a minor prophet, who spoke about God's anger and wrath uh, coming upon uh, Assyria and Nineveh. And so we want to look at this verse uh, today. And may it bring you a word of hope, comfort and even challenge uh, for the year ahead. So it begins, the Lord is good. A refuge in time of trouble, he cares for those who trust him. The first thing we need to say, this verse is talking about the Lord. It starts with the Lord, the great God, the sovereign Lord. And in the preceding verses, it is, Nahum has told us so much about the Lord. He is a jealous God. God does not have want any rivals and we know that from the first commandment that the God or God is jealous and he does not want us to have other gods he is jealous and he will not put up with any rivalry he is filled with wrath we're told in verse 2 he is slow to anger we're told in verse 3 and then he's great in power we're told in verses 4 and 5 and 6 he's great in power over creation and over people or God is a great God Sometimes people refer to God and they would say, the man upstairs. Or God is no man upstairs. And it's an insult to him to refer to God in that way. And what does Nahum tell us in this verse? Well, there's three things today that we want to unpack. First of all, the Lord is good. That is the character of God. God's character is good. And we th see that throughout the pages of Scripture. He was good when he created this world. He was good when he came to rescue the people from slavery in Egypt. He was good when he uh, came to the rescue of his people time and time again against uh, their foes. And we've just celebrated Christmas where we've once again been reminded of God's goodness to us in sending his son, the Lord Jesus, to be our saviour. God's goodness is displayed to us in Jesus who died on the cross of Calvary to take away your sin and my sin. Because if Jesus hadn't been born and didn't live and die, we would still be in our sin and we would face a lost eternity. But God is good in providing his son to be our saviour. He is the one who came to rescue us, to take our sin and shame upon himself as he died on that cross. And so we need the Lord's goodness to experience his salvation. Our God has been good to us in sending Jesus, his only son, the one who would die to take away all our sin and shame. And so today we need to experience the Lord's goodness. He is good and he will take away your sin. He will take away my sin as we trust in him and in his son, the Lord Jesus. And so on this first Sunday of 2021, May each one of us trust in God's goodness through his Son, the Lord Jesus, to take away our sin. This is a great opportunity on this first Sunday to trust in the Lord and to experience his goodness firsthand as we trust in Jesus and ask Jesus to forgive our sin and to come into our hearts and to live with us. God is good. May each one of us know the Lord's goodness today. The Lord is good and then secondly the Lord is a refuge in time of trouble or God is a refuge. This is a great biblical picture 
Many of the, uh, the great cities in the Bible had places of refuge where people could go to uh, to escape uh, and to find a place of safety and refuge, a safe place. And here we have a picture of God who is a refuge. He is that safe place. We can go to him and find protection in him. The old hymn puts it so well. Rock of ages cleft for me, hide me now my refuge be. That God can be our refuge in time of trouble. We are living through some very difficult times. The past year has been challenging and with so much uncertain in the year that lies before us with COVID-19. We need to come to God and find a refuge in him. Nahum lived in Judah and he was surrounded by this great country, this superpower, uh, Assyria and their capital city, Nineveh. The Assyrians were the superpower of their time and Nineveh was the great city and they put fear into all the other countries around them. You think of Saddam Hussein and Hitler, the genocide in Rwanda and you get a picture of what the Assyrians were like. A brutal force, an evil country. They assassinated everyone just at the blink of an eye. Murdering uh, children. Uh, they were offering sacrifices to uh, humans to the, their gods. They were People lived in fear of their brutality. And so Nahum said to the people in Judah that the Lord is a refuge. And so may each one of us know that the Lord is indeed a refuge and that we can find a place of shelter, a place of peace with the Lord. And on this first Sunday of 2021, we're surrounded not by a superpower like Assyria, but we're surrounded by COVID-19. And let's remember that our God is a refuge in times of trouble. So let's look to him. Let's come to him and find shelter and protection and find his presence, find shelter in his living presence. But as 2021 beckons, I know that many of you have troubles to face. You have your own health worries. You have maybe worries about the health of a loved one in your family. You're, there's uncertainty about your career, your study, your employment, your finances. There is troubles in so many areas of our lives. But Nahum would say that the Lord is a refuge in our time of trouble. So let's remember that the Lord is a refuge in our time of trouble, that he is there for us. So let's come to him and experience his peace and the shelter that he can give us. And isn't that what Jesus was called, Emmanuel, God with us? So may you know the Lord with you in your troubles. May you know that he is there. May you seek him. And when you seek him, you will find peace and you will find his love and his presence and his power. Judah was surrounded by this superpower and it struck fear into the people in Judah. I wonder what your biggest fear is. For many of us, maybe it is death. And what will happen after we die? The fear of death may strike just the fear into your very being. But we have good news today. That Jesus is our refuge. And yes, he was born, but remember that he died. And we remember most of all that he rose again. And that he defeated death, that enemy. Jesus is our refuge in death. He is the one who can give us eternal life and everlasting life. Remember the words of Jesus. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even though he dies, will live. Even though he dies, will live. And that is only possible when we believe in Jesus and come to him and know his refuge. Again, the old hymn puts it so well. When I draw this fleeting breath, when my eyelids close in death, when I soar through realms unknown, bow before the judgment throne, hide me then my refuge be. 
we come to God through Jesus. Nothing in my hands I cling, simply to the cross I cling. And in the cross of Calvary, and at that empty tomb, we have a refuge and we have nothing to fear from death when we trust in Jesus. He will be a refuge even in death. So may Nahum's words uh, to you today bring you comfort as you trust in Jesus. And may God be your refuge and your help in these times. And then finally, Nahum would say, he cares for those who trust in him. The Lord cares for us. The Lord knows all about us. He knows our worries. He knows our hopes, our fears, our dreams. He knows those things that keep us awake at night. He knows the joys and the sorrows that we face. He knows the things that disappoint us, the ups and downs of life. God cares for you. He cares for you intimately like a loving father. He knows you, he made you and he cares for you. And what did Nahum say? He cares for those who trust him. So we need to trust him. And what better? As I finish up then today, can I ask you, are you trusting in the goodness of God? The goodness of God that sent his son, the Lord Jesus, into the world to die for you. Have you trusted in Jesus and what he did for you on the cross? And if not, no better time than this Sunday, the first Sunday in 2021, to trust in God's goodness for you in and through Jesus, who did so much as he died to take away all your sin. Are you trusting in God to be your refuge? Uh, no one knows what this year will bring. But when we trust in Jesus, we have one who is there for us, one who will shelter us, one who we can turn to, one who is tender and gentle with us. So let's trust in God's care for us, knowing that he loves us deeply. So let's all in Mount Joy and Drumliga and further afield make this the day when we can say, yes, I trust in the Lord because he is good. He is a refuge in time of trouble. And he cares for me. Amen. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. All my days, I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I went. Till I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. Of the goodness of God.
of many announcements today just to say that everything was uh, emailed out or posted out or available in church for collection today the january newsletter with all the details of our upcoming uh, church events and a review of all that happened over the last few weeks can i say thank you to everyone who worked behind the scenes to make christmas special in both drumliga and mountjoy uh, both Kirk Sessions were adamant that we wanted to have as normal a, as possible Christmas and I hope that we have achieved that. Thank you to everyone who has been contributing to church funds. I'm going to dedicate our offering. I just want to say that um, the Ch God's work continues even in the midst of a pandemic and Sylvia and myself have been maybe busier than ever before as we adapted to uh, all the challenges uh, that COVID-19 has brought to our congregations. And so uh, the Kirk Sessions appreciate your generosity and I'm going to pray now as I dedicate the offering. Uh, but just to say that uh, all offerings are to be in Drumliga by the 3rd of January and in Mountjoy you have another week to the 10th to get all your uh, envelopes up to date. You can leave them at the manse, you can leave them with our treasurer at Hamel McElwain in Oma or at Three Bellevue. Uh, you can also uh, bring them to church next Sunday or you can use the online banking and all the details are in the church newsletter. So we're going to pray. Let us pray. Father, you've been good to us. We've just celebrated Christmas where we've been reminded of your goodness that you've sent your son to be our saviour. And in response to your goodness, we give you these gifts. We thank you for the work of our churches in Drumliga and Mountjoy. And we pray that through the generosity of the people that your work will be able to continue and will not be hindered in any way. So we look to you and we pray for your blessing upon uh, all aspects of our lives, but in particular our finances, that we would be able to give generously and cheerfully to your work so that others will come to know of your goodness in and through Jesus Christ. As we continue in prayer, we pray for those who are going through a time of trouble and so we name before you those who are having uh, trouble because of ill health maybe trouble because of uncertainty about their career or study maybe trouble because of uncertainty about their business or employment in the new year lord we thank you that you care for us and so we pray that these people would find a refuge in you, one who will understand, one who will help them, one who will strengthen and comfort them. Father, we remember those who have lost their way in life, those who have turned their back on you and know nothing, who have just ignored your word and have shunned your love. And we pray by your spirit that you would bring them back so we name them before you. Father, we pray that you would save them. That they would know your love, your goodness. They would know that in you they have a friend and a refuge. Father, we remember our country as we adapt to life outside the European Union. Grant wisdom to our government and to the other EU states in this time of transition. We pray for stability across Europe. And help us here in the United Kingdom to be good neighbours to others around us in other nations. Help your gospel to flourish in our own land and across Europe. And that our continent would once again be a place where your name is revered and honoured. Father, we pray for those who are working to treat people with COVID and other illnesses. Give them strength. We look to you and pray that this disease would be brought under control. We don't look to politicians or to a vaccine or to scientists. We look to you, the living God, the most powerful one, the almighty one, the Lord. So may you bring it under control. And we ask all our prayers in and through Jesus Christ, thanking you that you are good to us, that you care for us, and that you're a refuge in our time of trouble. Amen. Well, that brings our service of worship to a close. I trust that you've known the Lord's blessing as we have turned to Nahum. And may you know the Lord's goodness in the year ahead. May you know his protection. And may you know that the Lord cares for you. And may each one of us trust in our great God. So let us pray. Father, we thank you for a time of worship. And may we indeed all know your blessing, the blessing of Father, Son and Holy Spirit, 
with us this day and in the year ahead. Amen.